In this video, we're going to be implementing advanced rag technique called self-curing. This will be done in three main steps. Now, you've just built a rag pipeline and you want to improve it. Now, the best way to improve a rag pipeline is not by getting the best models, although it can help, not by getting the best UI or anything like that. The first step that you should really, really do is actually by improving the retrieval step. This is where self-curing comes in. Now. This tutorial will be broken down into three main sections. We can talk about self-curing and what it is. We can talk about the theory behind it, why it's necessary, and Langchain. I'm also gonna be providing a Llama index link as well in the description if I find it or if people are interested in it. And we're gonna be using local models. So we're gonna, use the, we're gonna be using Llama 3 using Olama and Nomic embeddings model using Olama as well. So as long as you have a decent computer, you should be able to run it with no problem. Now. And then at the end, we're going to talk about the implementation in very simple three steps. So let's talk about self-curing in itself. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So if you guys want similar videos, please feel free to subscribe. So what is self-curing and why should we care? So self-curing is simply taking a query, we pass it onto a query constructor, constructs another query, and we take that query, we pass it to a query translator, and we create another query. And then we use that refined query at the end, which we used for the vector store. And then the vector store returns a retrieved chunk that we can use to feed into our LLM at the end to get a better regeneration. Now, why should we care about self-curing? How does it actually help us? So there are problems with naive rag. So naive rag, as you guys have probably implemented before, you use a chroma DB, you use normal chunking, and then you just retrieve documents from a vector store. And that works great in a lot of cases. However, the problem with embeddings is that they have a lack of consistency, which means that when you convert a sentence into an embedding, it converts into an embedding. However, when you have the same sentence with slight adjustments, so maybe like you have adverb or adjectives that are slightly changed or just a different way of formulating the same question, you get a, or there is a high chance that you can get a completely different embeddings. And this was actually documented by some researchers recently, where you have inconsistencies in your embeddings, even though they mean the same thing, really. What happens is you can get wrong embeddings at the end, and this can result in less accurate data retrievals and bad generations. Now, how do we solve that? Self-curing is an experimental idea to help solve that issue. So you have your own curie, and then you have standardized conversion into a specific curie, to then ask the vector store to retrieve certain chunks. And that's what it is. It's a standardized way of curing for the vector search, which hopefully, or the idea is to retrieve better chunks at the end. So without further ado, let's implement this thing into our rag pipeline. Okay, so the first thing you guys have to do is install Olama in your computer. Olama is a terminal-based application that allows you to run large language models with minimal pain within seconds. After you guys done that, you guys will have to go to terminal and copy two of these commands that are listed over here. One is for nomic embed text. This is the embeddings model that we're gonna use and quent2. So we're gonna copy this, paste it, and run it. And you guys will have to do this for both the models. So over here for nomic embed text and quent2. After you guys have done that, let's prepare our documents. So as I mentioned before, we're gonna have three steps. We're gonna prepare our documents and then we make the end query over here. So one, two, and three. So let's prepare our documents. This can be any documents of your likings. But in this case, we're gonna have a predetermined fixed documents for movies. So over here, I've pasted the link for different Langchain document loaders. This can be PDFs, HTML, JSON, anything of your choice. And what you guys will have or end up with is different documents. So you have documents containing descriptions of different movies, and you have metadata like year, rating, genre. And these are things you guys can generate from different loaders, or you guys can also inject your own as well. Now. After you guys have done that, we are going to pass in or make a vector store from Chroma. We pass in the docs that we've created over here and the Olama embeddings. We are using the nomic embed text and we run it. After that is done, we're gonna create our self-curing retriever. Now to create our self-curing retriever, the first thing we have to do is import two things, attribute info and self query retriever. With this attribute info, we're going to define a metadata field info list. This will have various attributes about the different movies that we have. This is how we define which parameters 
which should be used to query from the vector store. And we will not have only one, but also have many different attribute info. Now I've pasted in examples of email and purchase history. If you guys are working with e-commerce data, just to give you guys an idea of how you guys could potentially use it. After we've done that, now we get to use our chat or llama model, which we'll be using to call quen2 and temperature zero to not get any creative. We've created a string, document content description. And finally, we define self queue retriever. We're passing the LLM, the vector store, the content description, and the metadata field info, and then we run it. After that, all we have to do is just query it. And there we have it. Based upon our query of finding a movie that is greater than 8.5, we've gotten this description of a movie that has different metadata, including a rating that is 8.6, definitely higher than what we wanted. Moreover, we also got another suggestion where the rating was over 9.9. .9. Again, showing that the importance of defining different attributes and how it uses that to find the correct metadata and then retrieve the correct information. We can do the exact same thing, but for toys. Over here, we've got a description of a toy-based movie and this got ranked in the first or in the beginning of the list and the rest at the bottom. Again, making sure this one pops up in the beginning, which means the chances or probability of a better generation at the end. All right, guys, so that is self-curing using Langchain using local LLMs. I hope you guys found it insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, have a nice day.